With the 2022 World Cup starting in a few days, I'm sure many of you will remember the incredible scenes in Copenhagen of that fateful Saturday afternoon in June 2021. During a Euro 2020 football match, Christian Eriksen, the Danish team's playmaker and one of the world's best midfielders, suddenly collapsed to the ground, suffering from a cardiac arrest. At the time, people watched in horror, thinking that Eriksen's professional career would be over. Instead, what the world witnessed was the significance of immediate medical response. Eriksen made his debut back on the international football pitch less than a year later, scoring a goal two minutes into his return. In industrialized nations, out-of-hospital sudden cardiac arrest is the third leading cause of death. And yet, if a, per if a person witnessing someone going through cardiac arrest knows what needs to be done, at least until professional help can get on the scene, an additional 100,000 lives could be saved in Europe alone. The European Parliament recognises the significance of training and retraining people to react quickly and appropriately in these terrible circumstances, as well as the importance of placing appropriate medical equipment in public places. Already 10 years ago, this House was at the forefront of actions when, alongside the European Resuscitation Council, it established the European Cardiac Arrest Awareness Week and the European Restart a Heart Day, which we celebrate every year on the 16th of October. In the last 10 years, we have come a long way and we can be proud of having trained millions of people in CPR around the continent. But more still needs to be done. So if I can make one appeal today, it is this. We need to start teaching our children about resuscitation sooner rather than later. Certain countries have already begun to implement these programs successfully. We must learn from them. Most of our children dream of becoming superheroes when they grow up. And by teaching them how to save someone's life, we are allowing them to become just that, true, real-life heroes. Thank you. Thank you to the Malta Resuscitation Council and the European Resuscitation, Co Resuscitation Council for having me here. But more importantly, I want to conclude by thanking you all for what you are doing for Europe, for the world, and ultimately for humanity itself. Rest assured that you will continue to have the European Parliament support.